All right, so here's the plan. I have this board up there. It shows 2021. Um, yeah, been, a, been an interesting year to say the least, but we're gonna go out with a bang. And what I mean by that is every single year, no, that's not true. Um, a couple years, <laughs> a couple years ago, I started doing push-ups to ring in the new year. I think I've only done it two or three times. Didn't do it last year. This year, I wanted to bring in the Gymshark family and some other friends. I am looking to match whatever Gymshark friends come on and when, whatever we knock out push-ups, I'll do, I'll do as many push-ups as my fellow YouTubers, Gymshark athletes, Instagram people. Are you ready? That goes in the fire. Are you ready? Let's get it all! What's your handicap for goals now? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> My best score is an 88. So I, I started, yeah, I started golf, like, had never really done it. You know, I, I tried golfing like 10 years ago, just got so frustrated, like, to the point where I was like, man, this is, this, I, I, I'm going to break something. Like, I'm going to throw my clubs in. Like, it was just the most frustrating thing. Yeah, yeah. And then this spring, when Morgan left, I was like, you know, I need, I need something to keep me busy. And golf just happened to be this thing that I, I started doing. And I'm like, it's so hard. The yeah. mental aspect of it, teaching patience that you're not, you know, you can't master golf really ever, but especially in a couple months. So yeah. being big and physical doesn't necessarily, there's, it's almost like it, it, it's counter, it's counterproductive yeah. sometimes to, to grip it really hard and swing. Like, so the things yeah. that make, you know, like uh, you a great weightlifter or something sometimes is like in golf, like it's just the minutia details. Obviously you, you did that growing up. I've seen you actually, I, I don't remember where it was. There was a clip. I don't know. Was it a stag party? I don't know what it was, but there was somewhere where you went golfing. Yeah. But, My, yeah. It's, um, it, again, for me, I ruined golf because I, I took it from a hobby to a serious competitive sport. So yeah. it went from playing golf on a weekend with my dad and just having a hobby to getting down to single figures. And when we got, I got down to six, but the thing was, to get to six, you have to be playing three, two, three times a week, don't you? And yeah. then we start entering competitions. And then it got to that point where when I started uh, like full-time work when I was 16, it became difficult to get two or three um, rounds in. So I was really starting to slip. And when I was getting worse and I, I was getting so frustrated, it was, yeah, clubs were starting to, to fly. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just thought, I think it's time for me to uh, hang these up and try something else. <laughs> And I'm, I'm trying to allow myself to enjoy the process rather than because, again, we're, we're both people that we set a goal. We like to achieve it. The faster, the better. It's like, you know, like yeah. I, if a little success at something is good, like I want it all. I, I think with yeah. golf, there is that like, OK, in my head when I first started, you know, six months ago, I thought if I can just shoot in the 70s, if I can just get to the 70s, I'm going to be happy. Well, like I, I shot my best round the other day, like, you know, I think my, my best nine, my best nine hole round is a 42. Nice. Um, is it par 72? Is it a par 72 yeah, course? Yeah, par yeah. 72. So, I, and my, so my best nine was a, a 42. And I just was sitting there thinking, man, I, I shot a pretty good round, but like I had six, six holes that I really should have been birdied yeah. on. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> if, I, if I birdied those six holes, and I'm like, okay, well, then, I, then I'm shooting, you know, a 36. Like, that's where, and so it's like, again, like, just like with a physique, you're never yeah. fully happy. And I, I think that's what was cool about, you know, bodybuilding or golf. Like, there's never perfection. Like, we strive for it, but you're never going to really get it. Yeah. So yeah. it's fun, but at the same time, I'm trying to, you know, like, I'm super competitive, so. I know. So what we do now, we, I only play once a year maximum. So we call it the Terry Cup. And it's basically, my dad's a big, big golfer. He plays, retired, plays four or five times a week. My brother loves his golf, uh, my brother-in-law, so four of us. We, um, we pick a different course. We either go to Tenerife or we pick a course in the UK and we go away for a weekend. And once a year, we've got Longest Drive, the Terry Cup, all this kind of stuff. And um, yeah, they, they always try and put me off like, you know, single figure handicaps when I play once a year. But uh, last, last year, we had a good one. I, play, I played very well. <laughs> so yeah, I think that might be what I don't know if you posted a story, yeah. or not, but I think that might be what it was. So yeah, the current Terry Cook that's champion. That's, that's the fun thing. Is I, I'm trying to get Morgan into it now because I'm like, I, when I go away on vacation, like I want to hit up the golf course on vacation now. Like, 
it's like it's such a middle aged thing. Like when I was growing up, <laughs> golf was like the thing middle aged men did. But like yeah. now, like it's gotten a lot popular with COVID. Like every one of my nope. buddies, you get an old Steve, you get an old man. Oh, it's true. <laughs> I can accept it now. So, Just hey, accept it. it. Maybe, maybe you know, this is going to be 2021. Be the year you pick up the sticks again, because if, if there's know. any. If you come over here, or if I get to England next time, you, you better believe I'm gonna be like, hey Ryan, let's, yeah. let's have play. We'll have that like secret competitiveness, won't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll like, uh, I'm sure you'll kick my ass because I, I I I only dream about getting into single single digit handicaps. Yeah. I would say you know I haven't really been plugging my handicap in, but I'd probably say it's it's you know it's plus fifteen somewhere. Yeah. In, but that's good though. How long have you been playing? Six six seven months. Yeah, that's good though. You're going in the right direction. Looking good. Well, then. I mean, you you can do it shirt off. I'm sure you had Christmas, but the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> right. all right. How many you want to break it up into? Let's do 25. We'll do 100. Okay. Four times 25. Yeah. What kind of rest? Since since you are, you know, we we've, we've worked out together. Uh, you know, rest times are always a thing. How much rest time are we giving ourselves in between? What in between? Yeah, we go a 60 second rest time. You think we can do 25 minutes? Yeah, yeah okay. that's good. All right, here we go. Let's go. One, two. Three. So, that's you the any, first. Uh, you got any family trip? I know you guys are tiered. Like, what, what kind of tier are you guys in right now? Tier three? So, yeah, we're in tier three. Half of my family's in tier four. So, we were hosting Christmas this year. Oh. So we spent an absolute fortune on a huge banquet and then no one turned up because everyone was in the lockdown. So we've, um, I've actually got a full roasting joint while we're eating again tonight. So we're just really? eating big joints every night. All right, next set. Yep. Here we go. Go on. I'm in a decent pump here, Ryan. I don't know if it's a... Uh... Christmas food here or what, but again, a decent, decent pump. This is my first workout since the Olympia. <laughs> right? Yeah, I feel like it's, like, I definitely, this year has been, out of every single year of my adult life, the least I've, I've worked out. Um, so, is it really? I'm liking this though, Steve. I need to ask about this. What's going on? Coming off, man. This, this has to go. I'm, I'm like, I was trying to get my Sean Stafford on and, uh, you know what, I gotta give it to the guy. Not everyone can rock the long hair, so I'm actually getting a haircut for the first time in like six months tomorrow. Nice. Can't do it. I'm so, yeah, that, I had the beard going. It was, it was just I, midlife crisis is what it was. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I bet more we talked to get it off, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was, I know Amy said to me, I, um, I was rocking uh, mustache for quite a while. I don't know why I started to, it was a joke at first, it was for um, in November, and I actually started to like it, and I thought, I'm actually keeping this. <laughs> I, mean, I think Bumstead looks better with a mustache. He does, doesn't he? He does. I, I, think I think it suits him. Even on stage, like I think it looks it looks it looks like it's a classy mustache. Yeah. So. It's his alter ego, isn't it? It's his alter ego. As soon as he puts that on, he's on. Game on. He came in, <laughs> he came in looking pretty sharp. Yeah. Ready? All right, let's do it. Woo! Oh. Slowing up on that one. Uh, yeah. 2021, you know, obviously, baby, got yeah, Alfie, Amy, are you guys, what are you looking forward most to uh, 2021 this year? You know, we're closing the door on 2020, positive vibes going to 2021. What are you yeah. looking forward to most? So, so for me personally, I uh, have a, a more of a productive year. Like I want to set some businesses up for my personal uh, endeavors. Uh, I love property, so building and renovating properties. I've got a lot of properties that I rent out and I want to do the same, maybe look into that. Nice. And then just be an awesome dad to Alfie and, and more give more time to them because obviously this second part of uh, 2020 has all been about prepping for the Olympian. It's a selfish sport. and. I don't know, he's changing every day. Alfie is changing yeah. every day, it's amazing. And I don't want to miss any of that, so that's my main, main priority next year is, is them too, for 100%. I like that. Talking to Hannah, she kind of echoed that. You know, her little one, Colin, she just says, it's amazing 
it just in a year, 10 months, he's changed so much. So it's cool. Yeah. It's cool to start seeing some of these Gymshark athletes have kids. Um, I, I remind Morgan, I'm not getting any younger, so we'll try to catch up. <laughs> Point the pressure on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Yep. Job done. Job done. Nice. I appreciate you getting on today. Oh, yeah. It's good seeing you, man. Yeah, you too. You too. I hope everything gets sorted, obviously, with you and Morgan, and hopefully next year we'll see each other face to face at some point. I, I appreciate that, and I would like that. I think it'd be nice. We got. I got to get over there to England. I think this is the first time, probably in in twelve years, I haven't been to England. So yeah. need to get over there, and uh, yeah, we'll catch up, get around to golfing. As we say, you're always welcome here, Steve. You know that. So yeah, I appreciate it, man. Good seeing you, brother. Take care. All Talk the best. to you later, Ryan. What a stud, Ryan Terry. Honestly, you won't find a nicer, classier guy in the fitness industry than him. Just absolute class act gentleman. Ryan Terry, hats off to you, my man. Um, all around great guy. And yeah, hopefully we get to catch up with him in the future. So, okay, moving on. So we got 100 push-ups down with Ryan. Right. Next up, we got our first US guest. We've been talking to those people over in Europe but now it's mid-morning. What is it here? It's it's noon. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime here in the States, and we got the one and only Buttery Bros. Mars and Heber in the house. Let's go. Let's go. You guys ready to get a little pump on? Nice. Let's are you, do are it. You pumping up, Heaps? Yeah, dude. I just want to make sure my biceps fill out the shirt, so I've been. I've been just hitting this a little bit before we get going, you know? We're going to need to get just, you an inclusion band right there. Just, oh yeah, I'll get, yeah, I'll yeah, get some so BFR. I got my BFR <laughs> band. Bring it, dude. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Yeah, so wait, am I hype man, man then? These aren't, these aren't. Ooh, what, what kicks Yeah, those? what is this? Is it hand release or? They're not hand release push-ups. We're not, we're not, we're not doing those. Although, Devin, Devin had us do we did hand release push-ups for 20. We did burpee push-ups. We did kick sit push-ups and then yoga push-ups. And then put our feet on a wall push-ups. Like Devin, Devin had to go next level. Jeez. So it was, a, but of we course. did 20. So, Heebs, what shoes are those? These, okay. are the, these are the Metcons, Metcon 6s. I like that colorway, bro. Yeah, I got me and my wife matching pairs for Christmas. Uh, you, you, you know, know it's, it's adorable. Caitlin has that same color. Yep. Marson, Marson's out of the loop. He doesn't have them. Mars? I mean, I, I have that I have that shoe. I just don't have that colorway. You got to get the colorway. It's not the colorway. But I'm just saying, she probably chew up. Oh, 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 I'm yeah, barefoot right now. Hobbs is coming in to say hi, boys. Say. Oh, the Hobbs dog. Hobbs. Hey, Hobbs yeah. dog. hey what, if we do, what if we do 50 and... And then Heebs, you do 50. So you're, okay. you're hot, man. And you then, let's go. Or, or we can switch off at 25. Steve. So Steve, me and Steve are going? Yeah. Yeah, you two are going. Ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go. Three, one, two, one. Two. You three, gotta want two, it, boys. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You're doing so 30, good. You're doing such great work. 15. 16, 17, yeah, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Hobbs, Nine. Deets, man. Hey, you gotta want it! Hobbs is crushing it right now. Now look at those striations through your Gymshark shirt, too. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, oh, man. That was a. It's been a minute. This is, I did a set of 50, Steve. 50, 50 is a joke. That is the most. 50. That is the biggest set we've done today. That's Coming a big in set. From I'm I'm I knew pumped. you two could handle it. Oh. Whew. You gonna give me a minute so I can? You want me to go? And try to do it. 
Okay. Oh, do you, so do, do you want me to go now or do you want me to wait till you're ready? No, uh, well, well we, we can do them together. Okay. Hey, what, what's the... Bye. What, Mars, your hype man. Are uh, you guys ready? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> just did the 50. Uh, what, yeah. What's next for you guys? Like, what are you looking forward most to next year? You guys got any collabs coming up that, are, that you want to drop on the people? Uh, well, we just did an episode with the Army, so we did the Army combat test. So that'll be our next next episode. Is that which one? And then the we're going... Is, what did so, you guys so, so we did, it's our new Army Warrior, our Army uh, ACFT, Army Combat Fitness Test. Is that which, the plan? No, it's got like, it's got a, it's got like a three max deadlift with a hex bar. It's oh, got yeah. max hand release push-ups. It's got... Yeah like a ball toss, some sort of saddle sprint, and then max knee to elbow, yeah, yeah knee up this thing, and then, and then a two mile run. And so we did- How did we did, mile run go? Two mile run was the hardest part, for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. We did it in the snow. <laughs> it was great. So, yeah, so we, did it, we did it in the track. I did the Navy, I did the Navy PT test one uh, a, few, a few weeks ago, post COVID. I had COVID and I've just been in a funk, you know, not in great shape, definitely some, some respiratory stuff. And I got my butt kicked. Like, like I was not happy with my mild time, my mile and a half time. I did my push-ups and my sit-ups. So my goal is to kind of do all of the PT tests in the different Army, Navy, um, Marines, and then have that like base level. So that's kind of why I'm doing push-ups even right now is, is that I'm trying to get better in all these because I'm going to retest in the Navy one. And then I want to do that Army one as well. So. Uh, that two mile run though, when I see that, it makes me nervous. Oh yeah, two miles. Yeah. Two miles was that was definitely the hardest part. On oh. a track, but fully snow covered track. So. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna, definitely. I'm gonna add. Event. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm at a I would, twenty I would second track. Yeah, 30, 20 seconds for sure. <laughs> yeah, who? Yeah, who? A who wants to run on a track in this? Like, but also your lungs had to be like that hurts. That hurts the lungs when it's that cold out. Yeah, and I'd never done a, a max effort two mile sprint or two mile run, so that was got 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 some good. I, I don't want what did to it take, like, Beebs? What was it? A that's for the two mile one. How did it go? It took us about fifteen minutes. Fifteen. I think you were about fifteen something, and I was sixteen something. Oh, that is brutal. That's still good though. Jeez, I was just thinking. That's like a seven thirty mile. Like, that's good. It was decent. Yeah. <laughs> Decent. We 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 definitely got beat by all yeah, the, all, the army guys run. that were doing the test. Steve, Steve are you yeah. in your? It, it, he forgot. Yeah, lapped. I got lapped. He forgot lapped by some the cross country runner that came. Really? Oh yeah. They brought so, some girl. They brought a ringer. You know. The first the first time I not the first time but the first time I ever took uh, Murph serious. I was at CrossFit Dixie, and this is when I was actually doing you know a decent amount of CrossFit, and uh, it was like probably four years ago. And so we're doing it and I'm in like second place, you know, I'm not doing, I'm doing, I'm doing well. There's like 30 people in the class. It's just a normal class. And then on the last mile, I start and like, there's a guy ahead of me who's probably pretty far ahead of me. And then I, I'm running and I make the turn at like the half mile. And I see like, you know, maybe at, at, towards the start, like, you know, 400 meters away. So it's kind of a, a loop. Uh, I see a girl starting. Well, little do I know, yeah, she's run Boston. She, I think, won some marathon. She catches me. I have a half mile head start, and she oh. catches me on that. And just happens <laughs> to like crap with this little gal that just, she just ran. Like, Murph's one of those ones. Like, like there's some running in CrossFit. Like, you have to be good at running. Um, but, like, unless you practice a lot of running, running just doesn't come easy for me. No, yeah, running. Yeah. Running. Consistently short running. bursts, right, Steve? Just like quick, short bursts. Yeah. Let me let me run 40, 40 yards. That's what I'm accustomed to. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You that's, a, that's what you're built for. Any yeah. Any CrossFit collabs coming up with anyone? It's kind of kind of like the not the slow season in CrossFit, but you don't have what is water is Waterpalooza the next big one in, in Miami? Yeah, um, but I well, guess I, it's still kind of yeah, in the air right now. Our really? seasons changed dramatically because of COVID, and then also. CrossFit's restructured again the CrossFit season. So the Open is now starting in the end of February again, like it did two years ago. So uh, two March. or three years March, ago. March yeah, 11. February, March, March, spring area. 
And so all the sanctional events or big CrossFit events probably won't happen until then. We, we we're going to Texas at the end of January for like a local throwdown and then um, possibly collabing with, I've talked to uh, Matt Fraser about doing something in January. We're talking to Justin Medeiros about doing something in February. Um, and that's sort of it for CrossFit. We, we plan a lot of our shoots, like <laughs> you know this, Steve, we, we do a lot of our shoots kind of last minute just because of the COVID situation. We just don't know what's going to be available in a week. So we kind of go week to week with, with some longer term plans. You know what's crazy though? Like, even though you guys don't have a long time to plan things, your, your, like, your videos are so much well, more well thought out than any, like, obviously you guys, you guys aren't your typical YouTubers. You guys have made, you know, feature length movies, documentaries that end up on big places, Netflix and whatnot. So it's like, you guys, you guys are so talented that when it comes to that, you guys can put something that it looks like it's been planned for a month and you guys have had three days to plan for it or, or just, you know, it's, it's, it's something that when I, you guys have set the bar super high. Like when I, when I'm watching YouTube videos and I'll see one of your new ones, it's, it's always feels like I'm watching a TV show. So I love Thanks, what you guys. Man. Hell yeah. Thanks, Steve. Uh, we're uh, we're also going after. to uh, Hawaii. Oh, nice. I was just gonna say we're also going to yeah we're going to Hawaii to hang out with the Hawaiian Trail Run folks. They're doing a uh, like we're we're going out there mainly for vacation, but they're also doing a uh, like trying to get people aware of their Hawaiian Trail Run that didn't happen this year that and the way they're gonna like plan it going into next year. That's sick. Like Which that. is an amazing yeah. event. You should come. It's so sick. It's like a 10k through the through the jungle. It's really fun. That would be so much fun. Yeah, this so this year one of my main yeah. goals is, is to always have one of my main goals is to always have a goal that, that I'm training for. So like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna refilm middle of January the PT test and then the following week do some different ones, whether it's the army or the yeah, the army or the Marines. After that, I'm gonna be doing like I'm gonna train four weeks like for an, the NFL combine because that's coming up. Uh, so it'll be training like my 40 yard, my vertical, my bench press, like 225 reps. So like my goal is to always have something that I'm training for. I think A, it makes my life more enjoyable, content more enjoyable. So like I've, I've thought about a trail run, a sprint triathlon, uh, a Tough Mudder. I've also, now that I'm just talking with you guys, maybe like doing a month to six weeks of just pure CrossFit. And then at the end, like either doing a bunch of the standardized workouts or maybe even like just a local throwdown. Dude, you, you should, should do, do the open. Yeah, do the open. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, my the, yeah, I would get, I would get exposed quickly, but it'd be, more, <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be something it'd be something more fun just to train for. So yeah, yeah. I just think about I think about those open workouts. They are okay. brutal. Well, well, if you don't do the open, we'll for sure come do whatever event local throwdown you're doing. We yeah. could find a cool one locally, and then I'm down to do a, a I'll come do a sprint triathlon with you. That'd be Let's fun. do it. Let's do. I love having you guys just you know four hours away. I'll tell you what though, if I do, if I do the, you know, the, the open or if I do like just a, a local show, you better believe that when it comes time to that last event, I'm, I'm just, shirts are done. Shirts yeah, are done. Shirts are done. Let's go. <laughs> are we pushing? Oh, we're going to push it. Here we go. Here we go, Hibs. Three, Here we go. two, one, go. One, I'm counting two, one, two, three. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel the horn coming. You guys are moving. I see Hobbs has got your support there. I hope I I shouldn't be going. Should I be going? Look at Plump. You guys are all pop oh. tops here. Man, you guys are freshly scaped. The booby, the booby dance. Uh, I gotta do something about this. This is come up, peeps. I tried so hard to get on your level. I'm getting you the haircut. Just, you just gotta let it sit. So you're you're not wearing hats. You're trying to style it. You just gotta let it be. 
but you know what? You have such a better head. You see how fat my head is? I got a fat <laughs> head here. So like this, oh. I look like Hey Arnold. You just gotta, so you gotta let the yeah. hat come out and let it flow out. All right. Do I have a hat over there? It's, it's beanie season, bro. I know, I don't know what I'm you doing. Got, you gotta backwards hat it, it, and you gotta beanie it. And then just don't take it off until Lake Powell, August. Not even that, like, I think by April, oh, yeah. you set. Gotcha. All right, well, well, well Morgan- You got a good hairline babe, for it, I'll tell you babe, that. like, you're not gonna look good with long hair. Like, don't do the man, but I'm like, have you seen Hoopers? It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> like I got like a two weeks a week straight. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at that pot. Marzen's got like a month. I, I'm now five. Yeah, man, it's a meat. There you go, Mars. You're looking lean, bro. Yeah. You're, oh, I think it might just be the lighting, but I've also been eating a lot of kale. You know, <laughs> haven't had a carb in several months. <laughs> he's, been, he's been drinking nothing but celery juice when he wakes up. Oh my gosh! No, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not saying yeah, you were ever fluffy, but I just feel like like this is this is lean, Marsden. Oh yeah, I, yeah. Thank you. You hear that, Heaps? Yeah, coming up. <laughs> coming up. Heaps has been getting. Heaps has been pumping up too. He's been walking around, yeah. just peacocking at the gym. Oh, the, oh, believe me. Every time I, every time someone I talk to someone at Excel or who was it? They're like, oh yeah, Heaps works out like twice a day here. Like I know <laughs> Heaps been putting in work. Like I, like I, I see that. So. I well, he just, he's I just, like a I mile from the gym, so he can. Yeah, I live. I just got a house a mile from Excel. Oh, congrats! Obviously, you're in it. Um, yeah, this is my spot right here. Nice. We, we, congrats. we still have moving moving boxes back here. Yeah, I'm still in boxes, and I've been here for four months. So. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, I, I appreciate you guys, and uh, thanks for pushing the two reps, two sets of fifty. That's that's uh, that's fifty. That's like that's a lot of you know. We've done forty five. That's the most. So between you two, we're uh, we knocked those out faster than any other people that we've had on here today. Um, nice. Say, say hi to your cousin. Hobbs. Oh. Hey, Hobbsy. Oh, hey there, bud. Uh, <laughs> All right, I appreciate you guys. I'll hit you up. Hopefully, I'll try to get up there snowboarding one of these days. Let's go. I know Demi wants to come snowboard. out, too. You ski. Let's do it. I Fresh ski on Mars and snow, snowboards. You guys are the perfect yin and yang. All right, I, I'll probably ski because I'm a, just not as bad at it. You guys are you're gonna see how bad I am at it, but I'm just not as bad as I'm snowboarding. So <laughs> you're an athletic individual. Okay, you let's out. do it. All right, I appreciate you Ski, guys. Ski, golf, what else you got? We'll do it all. We'll do it all. All right, thanks, Steve. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Sounds good, man. Ladies. All right, had a little bit of a break, like ten minutes, and now we got Nathan coming to us. First athlete from Australia. It's early in the morning there in Australia, like seven a.m. So really happy that Nathan's gonna jump on. If you don't know Nathan, he's fun, he's wild, he's crazy, he's always dancing in his videos. We've definitely collaborated in the past and had some really fun times on going on adventures. I like Nathan because like so many of the other athletes that we've had on, he lives his life actively. He's always doing things. He's not just into the gym. He loves the gym, loves, super knowledgeable, but also loves getting out. So uh, we're gonna jump on with him right now, catch up with him, and then knock out 100 push-ups at least. <laughs> I feel like you've had a good year. Like I feel like I mean obviously 2020 has been a rough year, but I feel like it's been you've been obviously productive. Got the gym going, like you oh, said. Oh dude, we got I was so lucky this year. Hey, we like timing wise, everything sort of fell into place for me and I was able to capitalize on being stuck. Yeah. Whereas most people like you and I we travel so much and then it comes to a point where you're like, oh, I can't do that now. But I was able to just like kind of shift and do all yeah. the things I've been like neglecting. So, man, it's been good. Hobbs is here sleeping on my mat. All right, dude. Okay. Right, I'm going to try and adjust you here. I don't have someone to control my, <laughs> my tripod for me. Let's and see how we do it. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to go a little bit more this way. I'm going to go on, on you. So you can, you can count us off. One. Sixty. Oh yeah. You going? Ah, uh, sixty. All right. I'm sixty. You keep going. Oh no. No, no. We're going together. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. That was the first set of the day that I've been like, oh, I am feeling a little bit fatigued in the shoulders, triceps, and chest. Uh, I, I get mean, like the the connection right between shoulder and and pec. 
I felt good, man. I felt good. But it was also push day for me yesterday, so my chest is already a bit fatigued. Nice. Looking good. Uh, what, what, what kind of adventures you been up to, man? It's summertime in Australia. What have you been doing? You know what? Summer here this year sucks. It's, uh, it's rained consistently for the past two weeks, and there's another 12 days of rain predicted. We're in a thing called El, El Nino, El Nino, yeah. one of them, where it's just like a real wet summer. So uh, it's not the summer I'd hoped for. Yeah. Um, there's like patches of sunshine here and there, but it's so we're crazy. Most of it. Summers are that wet. Like here, we don't get a drop of rain in the summer, but just because you guys are coastal. Like I remember last year in Byron for Christmas, it rained. Yeah, it rained hay for you there. Yeah, like four days of just rain. I was just like, oh. Kind of a bummer. Yeah, well, this is now. This has now been two weeks. It's rained every single day at some point for the last two weeks, and they're saying it's going to rain for another well, at least twelve days straight. So right. it's a bit of a weird one. As I said, we've had patches of sunshine. Zach uh, and his brother came up and hung with us. Yeah. For a couple of days last week, which was sick. We got one day of sunshine and all that. So I took him cliff jumping where I took you that time. I saw. Um, which is fun. It was good to push them out of their comfort zones, chase the spiders. That's the same one we did with the baker came with, right? Did, yeah, with, with um, yeah, with Alec and Nick. It's not far from his house, right? No, no, just on the other side there. Yeah, yeah it's cool. Right. That, that's a yeah. cool spot. I Man, I got I got so many good memories from Australia that I can't. I just feel like I can't wait to go back. But um, do you have your first trip planned out, or are you just kind of on a hold right now? I'm on complete hold. Australia has been so strict for a reason, which is yeah. good, but I can't see us getting international travel until at least July. Yeah. Like we had, there was, I think 20 cases in Sydney popped up last week. And so we're back in lockdown now on the coast. Yeah, I, I can't travel interstate because of 20 cases, which is good. I, I prefer it that way. It means that like our death rate is just so low. So low, yeah. yeah. So it, it does suck from a, a like travel and lifestyle perspective from from like a, a, a health perspective it's pretty important to stay i don't know safe i guess yeah. and i go i go back on and forth on it st george was an area that never really closed down and we've had crazy numbers the last couple of weeks or yeah. last couple of months really and it's like my grandparents at 91 and 92 got it my grandma it's been a rough year for her in general even before covid um but like for them to get it it's, it's been pretty scary um but like my aunt and uncle got it. You know, it's just been going around like crazy here in St. George. And, and for the most part, I did have a friend whose dad passed away due to COVID. So I've seen the very real side and it's really like, there's no rhyme or reason. He was a 50, he was a healthy 58 year old who ended up committing a pulmonary embolism. Um, yeah. I think sometimes like with blood types, it's different. Like, it's just hard because like, 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 you know, you could be someone who's asymptomatic or you could be someone who like like this this gentleman passes away from COVID issues. So it's like I, I've That's seen problem, both people that are like, oh, it's not, you know, it's not serious, but it's like it can be. And because it can be for some, you have to, you know, be very wary. So I don't know, it's just, it's tough. It, it's one of those things that's hard. I just can't wait for things to get back to somewhat of a normal life. Like I can't wait to travel again. And, do you, you know, feel not, like not doing, when Morgan and I are going to see each other, that's been the hardest thing. If we had a date, that would be yeah, a lot. Yeah, that sucks. So. Do you feel like there is, is going to be normality after this or is it going to be a new world? Because I personally feel like, like my takeaway from this year has been that we kind of need to think of, about everyone as one unit. Whereas before it was like, yeah, there's like, there's America and then there's the UK and then there's Australia. Yeah. And now it's like, you know, we're, we kind of all are in a similar position because we can all be affected by this. And exactly like you were saying, like some people are asymptomatic, some people are heavily affected by it, and there's no real rhyme or reason, and there's no like guarantee. The best thing to do is be considerate of everyone and right. then hope for the best that way. Right. So 20, 2021, what is the biggest thing you're looking forward to um, in the next year? Honestly, I just, I just want to keep on keeping on. I'm yeah. Life's been good. As I said, Court and I are in a new place. We've got HQ now. We're having fun with it. Big goal for me is to get out and see my friends again. Yeah, I'm gonna answer that one for you. The most excited, the most thing you're excited about is for me to come to Australia and do some cliff jumping again. That's just what I'm saying. Get out <laughs> here. Yeah. I'm so excited. For you. Court, Court is an absolute sweetheart. So I, I can't wait for all those exciting things. And and 
yeah, congrats on the new place. And uh, thank you. We were nice. supposed to see Morgan next week too. We we're going to try and get up, to, and now they've closed the Queensland borders. So we can't even visit her. Oh, that is. I crazy. know. Yeah, cool. Uh, it, I, I, I was man. I'm just seeing pictures of her and Byron, and I'm just in like cold Utah. And I'm just like, oh, no. I would give anything to be in Byron. I love you, but also I hate you a little bit. Next, uh, are we going for sixty? Um, we can. I, I, I we might should. Have to, I might have to pick up the pace a little bit if I'm going to go for sixty. Let's so. do it. Let's just go at our time. Let's go for it. Let's get another sixty, and that's 120 <laughs> done. All right, let's do it. Okay, All right, three, three <laughs> two, one. Eight, seven, six, oh. five, four, three, two, one. Oh. It is a lot easier when you're doing oh. fast. Oh, I got five more. Woo! All right, I'll go with you. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, son. Woo! Oh. Right at about 35, all those little auxiliary muscles were like not used to it. So we're now. Have yeah, you done total now? We're uh, we're on the downhill slope. So I appreciate you, big dog. Hey, pleasure. And hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll get to see you in court sometime in 2021. Oh man, we can't wait. All right, man. Have a good day, and thank you so much. We got Libby in the house. <laughs> Lippy, how long have you been with Gymshark now? Has it been two years? Has it? It's been one. No one. Longer, it just became one year, but I've been like working with Gymshark for a long, long time. And I met you in Houston. Lippy's got such a infectious personality, smile. Like I love love what you're doing. I love seeing your growth this year. Um, so we're excited to have you on. You are the second girl of the day. We first had Hannah. She was over in Sweden, so we had Hannah on doing some push-ups. We're gonna have Morgan on here later. Uh, okay, let's start it off. Let's just knock out 10. Okay, that... this is my little spot because it's so gloomy. I just have a ring light up for you. Okay, Hannah had one of those too. Like you and Hannah have been the only people that have had ring lights and I would expect nothing less. Yes. <sighs> oh, I like the I like the outfit too. How did y'all do the quad? Yeah, oh, look at you go. You do it. You, hey, your quad game is on point. But I like, I like, what color top would you say that is? You know, Jim Park likes to call it khaki, but in the U.S. we call this green. Seriously, right? Like that when I, when I was dividing my line with Jim Shark, and they're like, "Oh yeah, this is khaki." I'm like, "No, khaki is like a light brown." Y'all are calling this khaki? I'm like, "No, that's not how it works." They they're calling Jim from State Farm. So uh, <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. <laughs> Well, what do they say on that? Well, Jake sounds hideous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 10 push-ups. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this girl's strong. Strong. That was that was that was so easy starting it off. That was a little warm-up, okay. I like it. So what has been, I've been asking kind of everyone. What has been a silver lining? You know, what has been something that 2020 has been hard? What's one thing that, you know, if you're gonna take away from 2020 and bring it into the new year, like you've had, you know, you still had really good success this year. I mean, obviously pandemic can be a tough time. You, you've you definitely managed, you know, you, you've been growing, you've been spreading that positivity. Um, you know, what does that, that silver lining look like for you this year? Um, I feel like I have, throughout the year definitely gained more of a sense of community online definitely but i've also established more in person relationships that i can see like progressing on but also i think that i've grown myself like i feel like i've aged up 3 years just this year cuz i was like a little baby i still am a little baby i'm only 22 but i feel like i've just became more of an adult so i'm like really proud of my own personal growth I love that. That's a good thing that's come out of it. And also my family, we are, we're very blessed. Like in the past, we haven't been so blessed in such situations, but this year we've all been pretty okay. Nice. And I've been able to kind of provide for my parents in a different way, which has been really cool. That is awesome. I love that. And at 22, that's that's mad impressive that you're able to do that. I gotta say too, like your physique, like even at 22, 23, that's when people I feel like 
uh, you know, start adding muscle. I see those guns right now. Like, I'm, I'm looking at, look at those. Yes, and show us your newest tattoo, because I liked what that one was okay. about. Because that's a personal brand. Let's talk about it. That, that yeah, has... okay, so I have a bad day still a luxury. Yes, that's it. That's my quote that I literally said on Instagram stories one day, because I was just, you know, chatting it up. And I said, you know what? A bad day is still a luxury. And it just stuck from there. And I was like, that is so true. And other people have got it tattooed. I have my merch that has it on there. It's crazy. I love but it's that. so true. Okay. Like it's so simple and true. It is. It's it, it, yeah. It's so true. I was actually thinking about that because I, I I saw I saw the, your merch and I just like that, that. That is a cool saying. And I actually thought about it yesterday. My my youngest brother. He's always complaining that like my mom smothers him. And I'm like, oh, isn't it isn't it tough to have that luxury? A mom that loves you. It's kind of that, like that same thing. Like a bad like if you have bad days, that means you also have good days. Like a bad day is still a luxury because to some people that's just every day. So I, I, I love what that's about. So be grateful for what you have. So mad props okay. to you on that. Thank you, thank you. All right, Great. let's set. Yeah. How many you want to do? Another ten. Let's go 15. You got 15. Okay. Let's go 15. All Here right. we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's go. You got you got long arms too. Push ups, push ups are definitely not yeah. yeah. You got you got you got super long arms. I feel like push ups are definitely harder for people. I got like Nathan. I just was we just did Nathan. We just had had our time with Nathan. He did two we did two sets of sixty. But I'm like Nathan, your your arms are built for push ups. There he's yeah. you know there he doesn't have to press up as far as you. That's he's for sure. He's a compact guy. No, I literally have the longest. I'm just lanky. Like I'm yeah. a long person. But it looks so good in pictures. It's so photogenic. So definitely feel lucky for that. Oh. So. What's uh? What's one thing in 2020 you're looking forward to? 2021, Steve. We're done. With oh yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to put that. What? <laughs> um, I'm really excited to hopefully be able to travel. I really want a Gymshark pop up so bad. I don't think you understand. Um, but, but also just being able to see my family and visit kind yeah. of regularly, hopefully, because my mom lives in Denver. Oh, nice. So I'd like to see her, but it, it, it definitely would be nice to see family um, and, and travel. So many of the Gym Shark athletes have said that people have been like, it's it's crazy because pop ups are a lot of work, but you really do miss them. Just seeing the other Gym Shark athletes and then just being a part of that kind of energy. It's like you know, you kind of I kind of took it for granted because that's what I was doing for ten years. But if you could do a pop up, Gym Shark the next pop-up if, if you could pick where it was at where would it be at okay i literally have not even traveled outside of the country so i'm not good at this question i've barely left the midwest yeah i don't know i want to go to new york like new york sounds oh. so fun i've never been there before or chicago yeah i don't know I, I i've never been to a gym uh, shark pop-up as an athlete either only uh, as oh like, oh yeah like, we got it from them. i got signed right after so I have never been as an athlete. You know what's you know what's crazy about that? Because I, I totally know where you were you're coming from. Like when I was 17, I I'd actually never been on the airplane until I was 17. Growing up in Idaho, I had a big family. Um, so I got into I, I played football here at Dixie State. You know, by then I'd been on airplanes, but I'd never been out of the US. And then I started traveling for optimum nutrition. And then obviously that was like for seven years and did stuff with Gymshark. And you're right, like seeing the world, man, if there's one thing that I, I said that like, seeing the world and seeing different cultures that just has made me appreciate the human nature that like you can be anywhere in the world and people follow you. Like you said, they tattoo that on you. They, they wear that merch. There's a community that you can build that no matter where you go in the world, there is a culture, there is a, a support system. And it, it, it's insane. And it made, it was just crazy how social media has really made the world so much smaller and has opened my eyes to just the, the different people and cultures out there and how great all of that is. Yeah. So I'm excited for you. I'm excited too. Like, it's really cool to have audiences all over the world, yet I've never even been to those places but it's so cool to, to learn about their own experiences and what they do on a daily basis and somehow i'm a part of that you know well jim shark's gonna have to get you over to hq here yeah. uh, as, as soon as borders open up hopefully hopefully sooner than later 
Yeah, I would love to visit the HQ. That's okay, but you got you got to tell you kind of skirted my question. I mean, besides New York, okay, if, if there's one place out of the country, I guess you did say New York. <gasps> but if there's one place that you like want to go on vacation, like you got you got tomorrow, you could pick anywhere on the globe. Where are you going? Um, I would like to go to Greece or like Australia. Anywhere. I don't know. I want to go somewhere tropical too, though. Yeah. So I want to try I mean, something. I've never been. I've never been to like a real, like actual tropical beach. I've been to Florida because my boyfriend's from like Destin around there. Gotcha. But I need the full experience. You need to I want to go to Tulum. I know you went to Tulum too. Oh, uh, Tulum's dope. Tulum's dope. Tulum is really cool. Uh, yeah, I, I think you would love love Tulum. And it, like, what sounds better right now? Like, we're both in colder climates right now. What sounds better than being on a beach with palm trees? Like, I'm. I'm Morgan's gonna wake up here in Australia, and she's in Byron Bay, which yeah. is a tropical, it's like Hawaii weather type there. And uh, I'm like, she'll, she's complaining because it's raining there. And I'm like, but it's warm rain. It's 80 degrees and raining. Like, yeah. you're, I'm in, I'm in Utah right now. Yes. So uh, yeah, 2021, I'm sure you're gonna get to a tropical place too. I feel it for you. I'm putting it out there. We're gonna manifest it. Yes. Excited for it. All right, now how many? Lordy. Hey, let's just go to failure. Let's just let's just see what we're let's just see what we're about. Let's go to failure. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, it, it could be you know it, I I know you can at least do fifteen, so it could be sixteen. <laughs> we got to go to at least twenty five in total here. So uh, we'll go to failure, and then if we're short of twenty five, then we'll keep going after we take a short break. Okay. All right. On you. Okay. Why? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Atta girl. One, two, three, get it. Yeah. Woo! I'm hey. ready for more though. I can do more. That, that I is just tie it up though. That is, hey, that is impressive right there, especially with, with, again, I feel like you're coming up at least three more inches on, you know, at least four inches more yeah. than most people. <laughs> hey, that's so late. Is that 50? Is that 50 reps? Yeah. Hi, I, I like it. I mean, we're, we're now, we're now over 700 total reps. Uh, I'm at 700 and some, and so Gymshark, Gymshark friends are now over 700 too, so. Sir, that is insanity. I'm like, yay, 50. You're like, 700. <laughs> I love it. Well, hopefully we get to see you uh, in the new year. Tell tell your boyfriend, you know, happy new year. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully there's a Gymshark pop-up store in 2021. <sighs> let's hope. No, I'm busting out some more, Steve. I don't know what is, what's going on. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do some I more. Have to, I have to go bigger and better. <laughs> I, have to go I, I, lo I love the competitive nature. Yeah, like 15 more at least. Okay, let's do it. Let's okay. do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Get it. Fifteen. Woo! Woo! Okay. All right. That is wow. Now, that is you are now. The highest total. I'm in the lead for girls. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm actually starting to fatigue, so I'm grateful. I'm grateful uh, <laughs> we were able to go 15 there. If you would have pushed me to 25, I think I probably would have. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, good seeing you. All right, uh, Steve. Super, yeah, super excited for your future. It's such a bright future. You know, keep spreading that love and positivity. Positivity, and mm -hmm. hey, you got me saying, you know, a bad day is still a luxury. So keep it up. I love it. Thank you for having me. Next up, we got Mr. Alec Baker, aka Mr. Getting It Done. <laughs> Steve Cook, Jim Shark Top, Strength you believe it. Bro, look at your triceps right now. Who are you? Come look at <laughs> look at Alex's triceps. I, I knew you were getting fit. I knew you were getting fit. You know, riding your 200 kilometers on the bike. Is, it, <laughs> is that is that cricket stuff in the background? Is that a wicket? Yeah, that's right. Been oh, playing some beach cricket. And for that, so. you, you, your girlfriend's a weapon at that as well. So, yeah. yeah. Did, did, have you guys? Did you guys play cricket that night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So you could play tennis and cricket. Yeah, you just put down the net and we just played cricket. It was awesome. Oh, that's sick. So, all right, for those of you that don't know what Alec and I are talking about, uh, both Alec and Morgan are in Byron Bay right now. And so Alec's family was nice enough to invite Morgan and her mom over to just, that house looks sick. 40 acres, viewing all of hinterland Byron. Hinterland, something we say in Australia, it's cool. To teach you <laughs> And, uh, you know, it looked like they just had the most amazing night. So my FOMO was 10 out of 10. You got Alec, who's, who, you know, like, good. We had such such good memories back here in St. George. And then uh, last last Christmas, actually, last New Year's. So a year from today, uh, we spent New Year's with Alec's family in Sydney. My parents flew out. Uh, Morgan was there. And we just had a great time on the Central Coast. Um, so how much longer are you in Byron for? Um, I leave here on the third. So I've got about four or five more days here. Nice. Yeah. So right, no brother. complaint. Well, I, we're going to put these triceps to the test right now. I, <laughs> I am 745 push-ups in. Oh, um, awesome. Yeah. So we've had, we've had a couple different people, you know, Nathan was the last Australian to go. Uh, yep. You and I, well, both of us have 100 push-ups while you're on. We can break it up in three sets of 33.3. Like, we can break it up however you want. So, what are you thinking? Let's let's see what we can do. How many do you want to do this first? Let's do this. Do you want me to go first, or? I'll, I'll do it with you. I just thought, how many do you want to do? I think we stay clear, like, stop maybe five reps from short of failure. So, you have a number we want to set? Yeah, let's try 25 first, see how that feels. All right, let's go 25. On you. Okay, okay. Yeah, on you. three, two, one, go. Twenty-five. Woo! I can definitely tell that I'm almost 800 in. My triceps and enter <laughs> are quite strong, so. Yeah, yeah. We started. I started how many hours ago now? Where are we at? About six hours ago now. Wow. Yeah, so it's it's been good. It's been like, you know, each each guy has done around 100 push-ups. Um, yep. Obi, poor Obi, he had just finished a CrossFit workout, so we did three sets of 20 <laughs> and then one set of 40. Um, so yeah, wow. I, got, I got Papadopoulos coming up next. Oh, very nice. He, he can put some numbers to shame. I know, that guy's a weapon for sure, so. <laughs> Uh, I want to ask you real quick, what, what's the, what is, you know, 2020 has been a rough year for a lot of people. If you could take away one good thing, what would, say, would you say is like the highlight or a silver lining in 2020 for you? Um, I think this year I learned a lot more about myself and my self-value um, and what I'm worth to either myself or other people. And um, this year helped me a lot on figuring out who I am and what I want to do and then also like where I want to spend my time and what I'm doing it for. Um, so I was doing a lot more things with purpose instead of just doing them for the sake of it. Mm. Um, like my ride was one of those things and playing rugby was good to have like a fitness goal and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that was probably the biggest thing for me was just having the year to focus on myself and work on myself. And then hopefully next year I can spend that time and putting the things I learned this year about myself help others like my parents and stuff so I love that that's the goals for me yeah I love that man just just watching what you've done on 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 your social media and then just catching up with you when I have I feel like just what you're saying is definitely as an outsider looking in I'm seeing the same stuff like I, I definitely feel like you know watching your stories you you look like you're you're doing exceptionally well so and it shows you know it shows how mentally and everything you can just tell in your countenance and then also just like you know, even your physique, you can tell you're just on top of on top of it all right now. So we miss you, man. Um, let's jump up and do another set here. Awesome. Miss you guys too. What do we got here? Let's go same again. Okay. Here we go. Hey, I gotta say too, I'm 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 proud because your push-up form is good. I would like to think I had something to do with that, but I didn't. I didn't at all. So I'm just gonna say, like, wh whoever, wherever. I mean, I feel like you've always had good push-up form. But like out of everyone on here, your your push-up form is as good as any. So keep up the good work. Yeah, uh, it's all the foundation started with you, and I've just been watching the YouTube videos. So <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, three. 
Yeah, go. There we go. Right there. I definitely just hit a wall. That was the first time, first time today where uh, the max I've done is 60, but that 25 felt as hard as that 60. So I know I'm starting to fatigue a little bit. All right, Alex, what is, uh, what is one thing going into 2021? You know, I know you like to travel. That's kind of been put on hold with COVID and everything. Is there something that you're looking forward to 2021 on the horizon? What you got? Um, I, I'm trying to do what I think um, is like taking not only my work further, but also like um, setting a foundation for setting myself up better long term and stuff like that nice. um, with my business. And then um, also just with like my health and fitness and like at the moment, um, I don't have a fitness goal right now or anything like that, but I'm trying to make one or create one that yep. I can focus on and things like that. Um, and I'd love to just get to a point where I'm kind of stoked with my capabilities on what I'm doing. So like, for example, I'd love to do something like a triathlon or an Ironman eventually. Um, and, and getting to like, I don't know, certain speeds or capabilities where I'm able to be at someone else's level instead of just doing it against myself. Um, so maybe even entering races and things like that would be sick. All right, well, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna throw down the gauntlet. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the Navy PT test come January 17th. Um, yeah. It's push-ups, sit-ups, and running a half mile. Um, so that could be your first fitness goal, is to beat me in that, um, because <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a great runner. And I feel like your, your endurance has always been good. Like whenever we went on runs, you definitely beat me on those. Um, and then from there, we'll put a triathlon on, on the calendar, whether it's in Australia or, or over here, if we have to do a separate because of COVID, but like maybe an Olympic triathlon, because I know you love, you're great at swimming. You've obvi you're obviously very capable on the bike. You just did 200 kilometers and then running you're good at. So my goal would be to, to keep up with you in that endurance sport. So um, let me know when you sign up for that triathlon and I'll sign up for one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's lock that in. I like I that. It. The one I was going to do in St. George got canceled due to COVID. So, and now oh, it's freaking that's... freezing. So, is that the All one right. around San Hollow? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, San Hollow. That would have been cool. Yeah, it would have been. And we'll 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 do one eventually here. Hopefully, hopefully COVID lets up. All right, another twenty-five. This oh, set this might be be this set of twenty-five might be hard for me here. We can get we we can pull it back and then go go uh, again. No, we got we got to do it. We got 25 is good. I mean, if I can't do 25 push-ups, I, like I said, Nathan Nathan was so I had Nathan on before you, and he or yeah. no, Libby on, and then I had Nathan on before him, and we did two sets of 60, and uh, yeah, those were those were our burners. But I feel like you know 50 starting off the day with 50 or 45, and like it wasn't hard at all. But now that I'm deep into this, 25 is actually feeling tough. So. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll go on you. Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Woo -wee. <laughs> 75 down. Yeah, Hobbs has been a good boy. Yeah, he, he's a little sick. He has an ear infection, oh. and he's like a He's like a kindergartner. He's got snot on his nose because it's cold out right now. I need, to, I need to wipe your nose. How's his nose been since his surgery? I know that was ages ago, but... Yeah, I think it's I think it's been good. You know, after it, the initial heal up, nothing bad has happened, so it's been pretty good. Hey, he would have, how's the golf he game? Loved have, what was that? How's the golf game? Oh, uh, could be better, but no complaints. <laughs> What'd you shoot? That's golf, though. Um, yesterday, or today, yeah, yeah, yesterday I shot um, six over at that nine holes. The game before I was 13. Oh, so, six over. So was that yeah. a par, a par 72 if you did it twice? So was that 36? Is par 36? Yeah. We only played once though. We only had two hours, so. So you shot a 42? Yeah. That is my best nine hole to date is 42. Yeah. I. I I got, I got a few flukes on my putts and I was stoked. Um, 
but yeah, I, all my biggest improvement I need to do is just off the tee. My short game is pretty strong, but oh. off the tee, off the tee, I can't, I can't match anyone else like my brother. So I'm the exact opposite. Like off the tee, I'm good. Irons, I'm decent. The closer I get to the hole, the worse I get. <laughs> but it, maybe we should play Ambrose together then. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. All right. Should, should we do this last set? Let's do it. Hey, Hobbs, I need you to move, bud. Can you move for dad? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Three, two. Woo, no. <laughs> Even I felt that one. That was right. Four sets of 25, 100. Brother, it's good seeing you, man. Likewise, my man. Tell, doing uh, a good thing here. What's that? I said you're doing a good thing here. Keep doing it. Uh, they're definitely not getting easier as the day goes on. <laughs> tell, uh, tell the family I said hi, and hopefully uh, I'll get to see you come. Uh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Likewise. Sweet, brother. All right. See you guys. Talk to you later. We got Pap, and then we're going to finish off with Morgan. So I right, appreciate you, got you man. See you. All right. Next up, we got one of the most legendary Australians. Besides Chris Hemsworth, you know, I'm giving my, my like handsome, good looking, absolute weapon of a human being coming to us from the most isolated city in the world. We got Andrew, AKA Pap, coming to us from Perth. How you been, brother? Man, I'm doing really well, thanks. Thanks for having us, bro. It's, uh, it's been a crazy wild year, but you know, we, uh, we define ourselves by our choices, not by our circumstances, man. So making the most of everything. I love that. So I met, I met Andrew, I'm gonna call you Pat. That's how I know you. I met Pat um, on an active escapes retreat. And uh, I, this was on one that I just attended to see how everything was went down. And one of the best motivators, best trainers, group fitness trainers um, that I've ever been around. The guy just knows his stuff. So. He, he's confident, but he knows how to lead a group and um, just just awesome, awesome individual. So excited to have you on here. How long have you been married now? Has it been a year and a half? Yeah, man, it's been, it's been over a year. So we're looking at, yeah, close to a year and a half. Okay, because I, I was thinking, I, I was thinking that, you know, 20, 2020's had ups and downs, but I was like, oh, and then I was thinking, oh, it's, been, it's probably been over a year. You've been in, uh, um, and so I wanted to give you free reign if we wanted to do a push-up variation, I know one of the cool things that Pap introduced me to was zoo training, um, Hindu push-ups, iguanas, um, you know, gorillas, um, gecko, I, everything, cobra. There is all these, all this training that resembles animals, and you introduced me to that. So if we want to do any kind of push-up variation, feel free to introduce the people out there to whatever kind of push-ups you want to do. Oh, okay. So we're gonna make it real spicy, hey? <laughs> yeah, we can. Just because I've been doing like, you know, I've been doing sets of, of, you know, we've ranged from sets of 10, 15 with different, with some of the girls. Uh, the, the most we've done is 60. Right now, I don't think I could knock out 60 if I needed to. The, the, the accessory muscles are a little bit tired right now. So I, I'd, I'd be keen to, to give some people some push-up variations. And there's no better person out there for push-up vari variations than you. So uh, I'm gonna get Hobbs off my lap here and we can do uh, whatever it is you wanna do. All right, Nate. Would you wanna start with a set of 10 then? Yeah, let's, let's do a set of 10. Okay, well, well, I'm, I'm fresh, so I've got nothing to complain about here. So. <laughs> what, what time is it there? It is 6.05 a.m. So I've been up since 4.45. It's been a good start. Um, is that is that what time you usually wake up? Yeah, that's roughly the, the, around the time. So 5 a.m. is usually my get up. Um, the sun's getting up really early here. It's first light at 4.30, so it's hard to, to stay asleep when the light's up. And then that enables me to go for runs, some early swims, uh, do everything I need to do before my wife wakes up. <laughs> absolute, absolute weapon. I, I, I got to tell you, I don't know if it's just the Australians that I've met, but it seems like the average Australian is just kind of a badass. It's like one of those things like, you know, everyone that we've had on, you know, Nathan knocked out a bunch of push-ups. Alec, you know Alec. Uh, did you, yeah, you did, yeah, you know Alec. You know, we even got him on here. He was knocking out push-ups. So 
um, you know, Australia always really shows up well. So what do, what are you thinking first? Yeah, everything wants hands close together. Are we doing some diamond push-ups? Yeah, let's start with some diamond push-ups. So we're gonna place our hands together, mate. I've got my thumbs and index finger just beneath the chest towards the sternum, stacking my shoulders over my, my wrists, squeezing my glutes down and, and, and midline is braced. So we'll go down for our 10. I'm not going to full range, of course, but if you can't go to full range, just work within that range. Maybe you might go down halfway and press back up. That's six, seven, leading with the chest, not with the chin. And that is 10. Man, you must be getting sore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that, that one felt kind of nice. There's more triceps than a lot of the push-ups I've been doing. So it's nice to get a switch up. Um, you know, while I was doing those push-ups and just hearing you cue things, as, as a personal trainer, as someone who has worked out in group, group sessions, one-on-one, -on -one, one of the things I think that you do a great job of is giving people proper cues. So if you're a trainer out there, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, you're a trainer out there, I just got done as the host of America's Next Stop Trainer by uh, Men's Health. And uh, one of the things the judges look for is how can you cue people as you're training them, even in a virtual setting. If you want a good lesson, watch Paps, all of his content. The guy's just, he's so knowledgeable, knows how to coach too. Because you can be smart and not know how to implement that with clients. Pat does a great job of that. Thanks, man. Cheers. Hey, Wait, how are you feeling? You were just Thank on a cover. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've got on a few covers, but that one was a one from a few years ago. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I was just summarizing, um, you know, the chapter that's kind of closed from finishing up on the east coast of Australia, leaving Sydney. Um, yeah. You know, it's done so many good things for me. So now moving to the west coast and starting this new chapter, I kind of wanted to, you know, uh, give recognition and, and thank for everyone who's been a part of this journey. So that's that's what I guess the, the cover was. It's not some of the recent ones. Probably, I think it's two years old. Well, honestly, the great thing about you is you constantly are in shape. So it's like, it could have been yesterday and I wouldn't even <laughs> yeah, yeah. You carry your, <laughs> your physique. One of the things that I love about you is you're a performance athlete first. Uh, you know, a physique guy comes after all that. It takes care of itself. I know we've talked about that plenty. You're, you're constantly running, swimming, moving, and uh, it's inspiring, my man. Yeah, thanks, man. I, look, it, it, does a, it does such a, it's, the fitness industry has given me so much, um, and I've I've been able to uh, I guess leverage what I've, my capabilities and uh, my mindset and and as such. So I've got a lot to be thankful for. And I just think about there are so many people out there who would kill to to be able to have full use of their you know their entire body and, and mind. So you know when I ever feel sorry for myself, I think that I almost don't have the right to feel sorry for myself because this is all self-inflicted pain that I'm putting myself through with, within my training. <laughs> So, yeah, there's, there's, there's no time for weakness. I love it. All right, well, speaking of pain, what's next? All right, we'll go through our half Hindus. Um, right. So we're gonna go through a, a different range than your standard push-up. So we get into an A-frame position. My feet are really wide apart. Uh, depending on your hip anatomy and your flexibility, uh, you may need to go wider. Uh, so you want your heels to be touching the ground, that's right. And you want even weight to be pressing through your hands. And the idea here is you have your hands in front of your shoulders and we're going, almost going to be diving down. So as I drop my elbows, my, my, my body weight is shifting forward so that my heels come off the ground. So you kind of dive forward, rock forward, and then you're trying to get underneath the fence. So leading with the chest and then I press myself up, keeping those elbows in. Yes, come to full extension, chest proud, squeeze the glutes. And then from here, because it's a half Hindu, we're going to press back. So pull through the belly, push your hips back into the starting position. And then we're going to repeat nine more times for our 10 reps. So coming down again, elbows towards the floor, press your fingertips into the ground, it's two. And you're going to continue to wrap it out. Now, if you can't get chest to the floor, come halfway down. Okay, so you always want to be working within a range that you have control of. So that's four, five, and you just work through your 10 cookie. Pressing your weight back into your heels and then coming rocking forward onto your toes, putting as much weight into the chest and shoulders. Which is a nice way to achieve a different range. And that's your 10 there. That, those are awesome. I feel like those are uh, a little bit more shoulder intensive, but also nice because you get a, a little bit of more obviously hip involvement, 
feeling it in my lower back, getting that stretch in there. So uh, that, that one for 10 reps, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, yeah. There's a few more we can show that to, uh, to put on the spice level, increase it. But I know you've already done 1,000 push-ups probably, so. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> I, it's it's yeah, now less about just cranking them out and more about, hey, let's, let's use some different parts of the body here, your, you know, different angles and things like that. Um, one of the things mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, you know, you've done some crazy, some crazy things in the name of fitness. You know, you're kind of talking about going through that pain. Um, what would you say, you know, kind of give people your, the background, because you, you, you have, you've trained with, you know, Royal Marines, you've trained, you, you did that thing across Sweden, or where was that last, two years ago? Yeah, that was uh, end of 20, 2019, so, okay. so last um, that, just before the wedding, it was my last hoorah, no, not really, but it was, a, it was an eight day race, a running race across four countries in the Alps, the European Alps. So we started in uh, Germany, went to Austria, Switzerland, and finished in Italy. Um, but, you know, it was, I think it was 275 kilometers in total. Um, but the, the, the crazy thing was the elevation. So cumulatively, we, we, we ran past over to Mount Everest. So it was a lot of vertical. Um, some, of the, some of the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen though, mate. Wow, would, would that classify probably, like, you know, you, you, can, you can go to a different place where you're, you're training, you're pushing your body on a, new, a whole new level. Um, did that race, was there ever times during that that, that you questioned things or was that, if that wasn't the hardest thing you've done, what would you say was tougher? Yeah, look, that's the kind of thing where, again, it's self-inflicted. You do the correct training uh, to, to lead up to a race like that. Um, but what was sort of fascinating about that race was just the scale and, uh, of the mountains themselves. You know, in Australia, we, we don't have anything really in comparison. Um, so we've got to, you know, do as much as we can, whether you're wearing weighted vests and doing a lot of stair or hill repeats, you go into our, our uh, Alps down in Victoria, uh, which is still substantial, but com comparatively it's nothing. So, you know, there was definitely moments where I was not, I never second guessed myself. I knew I would, I would never stop and, and quit, but it was kind of thinking, wow, this is, this is definitely a, a tough challenge. Uh, the biggest thing that I've undertaken, I've done uh, a fair few ultras now um, and multi-stage ultras, but just being, I guess the nice thing about it, mate, was that you got to mix between running on the flat ground, uh, trotting downhill and hiking, some hard hiking. Um, so probably one of the harder races is a, is a flat road run where it's just the co consistent consistent race for, for 24 hours because you're using the same muscle groups, everything's getting stressed, all, everything structurally, it does get taxing. Yeah, I, I can imagine running for 24 hours. Uh, yeah, that, there's, there's not a lot of things in life that I really like when it comes to fitness that I don't want to try. Racing, running for 24 hours is, is one of those things that I, I will probably, a marathon, hey, I, I can handle, I can handle four hours of, of that, but 24 hours, that's next level. So uh, I, <laughs> I can appreciate, you know, I can appreciate you doing that. I'll, I'll stand back and cheer you on on that one. But, yeah, man, there's, there's a lot of other better things to do for 24 hours. <laughs> All right, dude, you are, you are just needy right now. You are needy. All right, what do we got next? Okay, hey, we're gonna go into a reverse Hindu. Uh, so actually, let's, let's go into a full Hindu. So we went half Hindu before, uh, but now instead of going backwards, I'll show you a demo. I'm getting okay. myself, set myself up in position. I'm gonna come down, and as I come up, right, rather than lifting the hips and going backwards to reset, I've just come up, and now I'm gonna go back down. So I'm bringing my chest to the ground, reversing. The, the movement, so then it becomes, you'll feel it through your triceps and shoulders. Coming back down, bringing the chest closer to the floor is gonna make it more difficult. And you can see how I'm just coming through the shoulders, elbows come to the ground and press up. I remember these uh, from Bali, and uh, yeah. definitely have a love-hate relationship with them, for sure. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, mate, I, let's, let's get after it then. 10 each, hey? Let's do it. I'm gonna try that. We're gonna go down first. Chest the floor, lifting yourself up, and then come back and then. One, two, three. You can look between your legs as you press yourself back. Just trying to relax through the neck. Two, 
just the tile floor. I think that's going to be easier. Um, yeah. so what, is, what is your uh, 2021? Anything, obviously, you know, pandemic, you know, I've got kind of talked to the different athletes about, you know, I'm trying to take some positive things into 2021. We've all had a hard enough time with 2020, but silver lining, what, you know, what is something you're looking forward to 2021? Well, for me, man, it, it's completely changed as my environment has changed. I've come across the other side of the country and, and Perth is a lot more relaxed and it's the lifestyle that I'm looking forward to kind of getting into. Um, we've got some beautiful coastline. Uh, it's, it's a place that sort of really fosters a, a, an active culture. So I want to get back into my road bike, my cycling, uh, running and swimming. Uh, so I can prepare for a sort of half iron, full iron man. Um, so that's the, yeah, that's the, the swim, bike and run. Um, hoping to get into some ultras internationally, just depending on how everything goes. Uh, and we're just building a house, mate. And um, so it's going to be a busy year. Uh, and it's just really like, there was a lot of reasons not to, to continue training, uh, not to stay focused. And, um, you know, I was just wanted to, I just know that for me, it's, it's good for my mind to kind of keep active, keep moving and stay focused on the things you can control. Yep. Yep. One of my, one of my favorite quotes um, by Swindoll is life is something along the lines, life is 10% of what happens to us and 90% of how we react. Um, so, you know, we basically, we decide our attitude each and every single day. And, and that's something that I've tried so hard just to tell myself in this last half of, of 2020, with Morgan getting detained in LA and then sent back before I could see her. Just, you know, a lot of things that, I don't want to say I'm a control freak, but any time other, like in times of my life, if I've wanted something bad enough, I go out and I get it, I go out and I do it. You know, when you're in a pandemic or you're in a situation where you can't control the outcome, all you can control is your attitude. And that is definitely, I've learned more than ever this year, patience and putting that attitude quote to the test. So. I know that's something that you live by, like no one is more positive than you when it comes to facing adversity in just every single day life. Um, so I, I, I definitely think, you know, anyone out there on YouTube, if you're not following this man, uh, you definitely should. So um, yeah, I think it's, it's something, you get any active escapes, you know, are they gonna be, are they put on hold right now? Active escapes, yeah, currently international retreats are on pause um, until, until further notice, but we do have a few domestic locations uh, within Australia that are really nice, mate. We've got a new location starting. I'm heading at, it's uh, in Whit Sundays. Uh, nice. So it's like northeast coast of Australia. It's a beautiful place there. The, uh, the, greater, um, the Great Barrier Reef. Yep. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's a great spot, but the, like you said, Say again. It's one of the places that I that is on my bucket list, and you know the great. Well, I, I want to do Cannes, Great Barrier Reef, the Whit Sundays, um, and then get over to where you're at. I've heard Western Australia is just next level beautiful, so I, I want to get over there, and hopefully I can do that. I got to get a travel, try to get a travel ban waiver um, to come see more. If we do that, I'll be over there for a few months. It'll be great. You got it, man. I, I just yesterday I went snorkeling off like near my house and I came, came across this massive underwater cave. So I uh, dived down, had my flippers on, was holding my breath, equalized, and because I could see some, some light piercing through. So I went underneath and I'm just underneath this massive coral shelf and there's fish everywhere. And I'm just kind of exploring, pulling myself yeah. along. And yeah, yeah, so it was just, there's some beautiful places here. It's a little bit sharky as well. They just uh, tagged it. Everyone's uh, killed about Western Australia, a little bit sharky. That's that's like Australia's nice way of saying like, hey, you might get your ass bit by a shark. It's a little bit sharp, <laughs> sounds so much better. So maybe maybe not bitten, maybe swallowed. God is <laughs> a great white shark would do some damage. But oh. I just I got for Christmas, I got given a um, what they call a shark band and you put around your ankle and it, it emits some uh, like a, uh, pulses to mess yeah. up with their sonar. So apparently it sort of pushes them away from you. 
Man, if, if that, that is the difference right there. That is the difference between the average Australian. Again, I'm getting back to this. Um, they, they're just, oh, yesterday I was out by my house and I dove underneath the water, 30 feet, held my breath, equalized, went into, the, like when I met Pap in Bali, the guy just does things that again, uh, very cool, very just like rugged and just to the point like, <laughs> I can do anything I want type stuff. So I, I appreciate the Australian culture is like, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to see what I can do. And, and I think that it's, it's just, you know, when you go to Australia, you feel that people are out and about, they're swimming, they're hiking. It's such an active culture. And at the top of that active culture, you have Pat, who's able <laughs> <laughs> All right, my man. All right. What do we got next? Okay. So this one, we're going to work on a little bit more stability through the shoulder and the hips, we're gonna give them a bit of a connection. So um, it's a little bit tricky, it requires some strength of course, but also a bit of coordination. So if you watch me, I'm gonna get to a standard push-up position. As I come down, you complete the press, but as you complete the press, I'm shifting the weight into my left shoulder as I lift my right hand to my left shoulder, but at the same time, I'm bringing my left knee Ooh. to my left elbow. So you can see this contralateral relationship to my right hip, left shoulder. So down for one, touch, stabilize, down for two, and then opposite side. So the objective here, right, is to keep your shoulders and hips as still as possible. That was impressive right there. You made that look effortless. So I'm just gonna do this once. It's down. Down. Bring that knee down. Yeah, good man. Yeah, looking good. Now we can go for 10. Okay. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. Ah. Come on, what you waiting for? Let's do it. <laughs> Again, if it's too difficult, just go through the shoulder taps and leave both feet on the floor. It's a nice, it's a great way to sort of, this is one of a, a great exercise to warm up with as it involves your core. And uh, you know, you're working the midline without flexion or extension in the spine. So it's working on those deeper core muscles, keeping everything rigid and stiff, which is what you want to do when you're doing your lifting. So, I gotta ask you, you know, we've been talking about Australians, a lot of fit Australians. My last active escapes um, that we, that I put on, uh, we had Peter Day, who was, uh, I think he was the F45 fittest Australian. Yeah, and, and world champ, yeah. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna know, if I'm throwing down the gauntlet and we're doing that obstacle race that we did in Noosa, is that where is that? Noosa? No, that was in Bali. That was in Bali, yeah. yeah. If, we, if we're throwing it down right now, if I got a hundred bucks to put on Pat or my man, um, why did I just forget his name? If I got a hundred bucks to put down on, uh, what's his name? P no. Peter Day. Peter Day, Peter Day yeah, I, I was like the last name, yeah. If I got a hundred bucks to put on Peter Day or my man Pat, who am I putting my money on? Mate. You can call him Peter yesterday and put your money on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all I know is that, you know, again, met some pretty fit, fit Australians. I wouldn't bet against my man, Pap, against anyone. <laughs> and and there, was some, there were some weapons. Uh, the other guy that was on ours, awesome dude from Sydney. He did a uh, Iron Man guy where, himself. Uh, where, where did you meet him? On our, on our active escapes. Oh, uh, on our active escapes. Gosh, there, there was a fair few. There were so many, mate. Uh, no, that, that was what? Think of the Angus? Guy. Angus. Yeah, Angus. Angus the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an a elite triathlete. Yeah, he was an elite triathlete. So he was another person that I'm like, between you, Angus, Peter Day, like, that loses three, fit, you know, pretty fit people. I know Xana, who runs active escapes. He's gonna be really disappointed if I don't throw his name in there as well, but uh, I don't know if he's in that group yet. So. Well, that's a tra I actually was mentioning this to my wife yesterday, mate, I, to Renee. I said, you know, I, I've got to sometimes be careful that I don't get, like, so I, I do hang around a lot of people who are quite fit, uh, huge, huge training history, or maybe an elite athlete in a particular sport. And you start to believe and condition your in your mind that everyone is at that level. Um, 
and then you think, oh, I've got to keep that edge as well. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's nice to put things in perspective and think, you know, actually, the majority of the population uh, isn't at that level. And as a trainer, it's important to know that because you don't necessarily need to train the general pop like you train yourself or what you find challenging and what your goals are. Uh, a lot of people just need, a, need assistance in regular movement, moving well and being engaged in the training. And I find that it's easy to get lost in thinking everyone needs to be working for their performance markers and, you know, and, and crushing it every day. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great point. And I think even even on Instagram, you know, you see the average Instagrammer that does fitness is fairly, you know, fairly fit. But when you get back to just the everyday follower, um, a lot of people want that need that basic that basic those stepping stones, the building blocks that all come with with getting in shape. So, um, all right, let's do one more. So we're at 40 push-ups right now. These have definitely yeah. been unique. Let's do another set of 10 of unique push-ups. Take a little break, and then we'll knock out 50. Well, I'll see if I can do 50 in a row right now. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, All right. we'll see how we'll see how that goes, and then I'm gonna head over to Morgan, who's in she's Byron right now uh, on the beach. We're gonna finish off. She'll have I think 66 push-ups to, to complete to finish off to to finish off the 2011, which is very fitting for Gymshark 66. They have their big campaign, so we'll do that. But first, we got let's let's think of 10 more push-ups that are gonna be unique, and then we'll do a little rest, and then knock out 50. Hats off to you, mate. Okay, well, we're gonna finish off with the last set of 10 with uh, a down under zoo special called Goannets. Um, so the idea is you wanna be explosive, but it is small movement. So you can see my hand position underneath my chest, it's staggered. And as I press up, I'm not breaking the 90 degrees. I'm staying underneath the 90 degrees. So it's like almost like a pulse. So it's you're just going back and forth like that. And you actually wanna twist at the torso, at the oh. hip like this when you're moving. Uh, as you can imagine, the goanna, if you know, maybe you've never seen it. Uh, everything in Australia wants to kill you, hence why sometimes we can, we might seem tough and manly. <laughs> so, so true. So and, yeah, and don't, don't, I confuse goannas with iguanas. They are not the same thing. Goannas are not iguanas. So, in this movement, if you say it, make sure you say goanna. Goannas. Okay. Go so, I've got my feet wide apart. You can place the knees on the floor if you need to, and just keep those hips stacked underneath the spine. But as I come down, I lower myself, my elbows are pointing backwards and I'm just pulsating, moving side to side. As you see, I'm not going to full extension, that's it. So 10 reps is quite uh, quite quick, as it's a small movement, but you can imagine it jacks up the heart rate. <laughs> 10 reps. Oh, I like it. We gotta do 10 each side there because those are nice and quick. I, I like those because I feel like it's a little bit more fast twitch muscle fibers in there, explosive stuff, and again, not coming up all the way. Again, those were a, a new one that you taught me when we went on that active escape strip. So we'll give it a, let's say, we'll put 60 seconds on the clock here in a minute, and then we'll knock out, give ourselves a minute rest, and then we'll knock out some 50 if I can. Perfect, man. I'm feeling it in the, the pressing muscles right now. So what's, uh, what's, what's the best part? Um, about living in Western Australia. Again, us in America, maybe worldwide, we see Sydney, Melbourne, you know, Great Barrier Reef, Brisbane, mm -hmm. you know, you're isolated, yes, but there, I've seen the beaches and pictures and it looks amazing. Yeah, oh, look, the, the natural beauty of the, of the West Coast is so large and so vast. Um, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's second to none, it's just different. Uh, and you know, you got the white sand, the, the blue turquoise, wa turquoise water, and just vast ranges as far as the eye can see. So that is definitely an, uh, something that I really cherish and I'm excited to explore and venture into. But also the people, you know, you've got an isolated city. Um, it seems like everyone has a bit more camaraderie. It's very hot and arid and dry, uh, and people are just nice. You're walking on the street, people away from their car, to you, they'll say good morning. Uh, in Sydney, everyone's busy. You know, it has it has that metropolitan lifestyle where everyone's working on on their career, working on their own things, which is great. Um, and it's good to have a place like that. But sometimes, you know, certain things, uh, certain mannerisms and, and uh, manners and stuff will get pushed to the side. Yeah, I, I think that that's that's that that's so true. I think of just any big city because I know, like, when Australians, Morgan, you know, case in point. 
Um, you know, when she came to the States, she spent time in LA, you know, went to Miami, New York, hit the big cities like so many tourists do. And then she comes to a place like Utah. Utah, where I live, is very much like that. Everyone's gonna smile, wave at you. And uh, I think people, if you only see Los Angeles, San Francisco, Vegas, if you only see those places when you come to America, you might have a, a perspective that is not always, not always the best or not always all encompassing. So I like when people get to the smaller areas and, and you know, I think overall, you know, Australia is a pretty nice place. You know, people are pretty nice. The times that I've gotten, you know, Noosa, um, Gold Coast, Byron, you know, you see a little bit more of it than the big cities where people are hustling and bustling. So um, it's on my bucket list to get to Perth. Hopefully um, some point this year, Morgan and I will get over there because she just raves about Western Australia. Yeah, yeah, awesome, man. Well, you hit me up when you come out here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna start training now to make sure that when we do a workout, uh, I'm not wrecked. So, <laughs> yeah, push-ups now. We're gonna, Woo! you wanna give the people proper push-up form? Yeah, absolutely. You wanna talk, talk about it before we get started? Yeah, why not? Great. Right. Well, at the end of the day, that we are going to fatigue during the 50 push-ups and it may not be achievable for everybody. So if you find that your form is subpar to the standard that's required, then just stop, reset, compose yourself and then re-engage. Otherwise, you can regress the movement. If the toe push-ups isn't working for you, maybe do a half range set or drop your knees down, which isn't my, I don't like dropping the knees as it does mitigate the the core aspect of it. See, you know, when you're engaging your hips, you feel your midline on. So you can understand I've got my hands underneath my shoulders and the other grounding point is my feet. So this is like a bridge and it needs to be, you know, uh, it needs to be, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Braced and sturdy. Yeah. If I drop my knees, I've just half that distance. So I'm not really requiring to be braced here. And the idea is you want a strong core for not, of course, your day-to-day -day living, but also if you're lifting weights at the gym, you know, you want to keep that back rigid and the hips connected to the torso. So the push-ups is a great exercise to, to create that connection, and reinforce that uh, idea. So again, hands, uh, shoulders over wrists. I've got my hands just underneath my shoulders. You can go wider. You can even push your elbows out, um, but I find bringing my elbows back at 45 degrees uh, enables me to have greater, greater uh, recruitment with my chest. But also it's then um, um, supported by my larger back muscles, right? Rather than orientating the elbow out at 90 degrees and placing all that stress on the shoulder capsule. So if you are looking for, I mean, imagine when you're doing a max bench press, Cookie, you're not you're not flaring your elbows out. You're bracing the traps in. So I like to compare it to jumping off soft sand compared to jumping off a firm floor. That kinetic energy that you press into the firm floor, most of it will come back compared to soft sand, where most of it will disperse. You won't get that verticality and that power. So if you bring the elbows in and it's got that solid foundation through the lats and all the musculature in the back compared to pressing through the shoulder, which is, has obviously substantially less muscle mass. I'll tell you what, I think that's a, you get any better textbook on the spot, no less, uh, <laughs> really an explanation of proper push-up push form. So, all right, man, well, let's go on you here. You know, you can start us off. Um, I'll probably, again, as many as I can with good form, and then if I need to, I'll, I'll take a break and then finish them off. But uh, as yep. long as I get all the way up and all the way down, my, my tempo might be a little bit faster. We'll see here. All right, man. I'll see you on the other side. Hey, okay, let's do it. Yeah, baby. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, good, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Nice work, brother. Woo! Good job, amazing. yeah. It's amazing. I started off the day so fresh, like 50 was nothing. I and mean, then all of a sudden, I'm halfway through with Alec and things just start tightening up and the fatigue happens. So we're gonna shake it out. Oh, man. I've got 20 more. 
Run your more, let's do it. Three, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight. Yeah, baby. Three, nine, 40. Last 10. That's 41, 42, 43. You got it, man. 44, 45. Oh. Ah. There I go. There I go. Good job. Woo. You gotta check it out a little Six bit. Six more to go. Here you go. 45. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Yeah, boy! 50. Oh, buddy. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I am glad this year. So, January 16th, I'm going to be redoing the Navy test. I got COVID uh, six, about six weeks ago and didn't train, didn't really do any physical activity for about three weeks to a month and then kind of had a lingering respiratory issue. So, I kind of uh, did a YouTube video where I tried the Navy challenge the first day back into the gym. And it's amazing, just my muscular endurance was awful. The running, obviously expected. Um, so now I'm giving myself a month, push up, sit ups, that running um, to really give myself a good base going out into the new year. And uh, I appreciate you getting on here. Man, you are an absolute legend. And hopefully we'll get a catch up uh, when I get over to Australia. Let's add it up. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 500, 710, 760, 880, 880, and 65, 945. 945. So I'm at 945 push ups right now. Uh, that means I have. 66 to go with Morgan, which is so crazy because it's also time for Gymshark 66. That is the campaign to start off the New Year's. It takes 66 days to create a habit. It's a worldwide movement now that Gymshark's been doing the last couple years. You guys can sign up for that. I'll put it in the link below. It's going to really be something that you're going to want to take a part of if you've never done that before. Oh my gosh, I just stood in bush turkey shit. <laughs> it's the most Australian that's what? disgusting. What? Wait, say that again. Why are, why are bush turkeys even up here? Morgan right now is in Byron Bay at the exact same place we did Christmas at last year um, in a little caravan park that is, it's such a blast. Byron Bay, you know, it's like you can just right on the water. It's the yeah. best part about it. You've been doing this for how many years, babe? Uh, this is our third year now, but I don't think we'll come back next year. Well, we. I don't think my parent, my family will come back next year because we'll all be in Utah. Are they going to be in Utah? Hopefully, yeah, we're going to be in Park City. Uh, if there's one thing City. Learned, if there's one thing I've learned from 2020 is it's not uh, it, is to make a plan, but realize that plans can change quickly and you might not have any control over them. So I've talked with a lot of people, babe, today about uh, their 2020 and obviously we've had our, our ups and downs, but I think um, the one thing that we can take out of it, silver lining, if I, if I wouldn't have, you know, this year, I got to spend amazing times with you earlier on in the year that I think mm -hmm. really set up our relationship to be strong. Solidified our relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, so that way when you went back to Australia, you know, it was like done deal, like that's, that's my girl. And I think that no matter what, um, no matter what throws at us, we're gonna be we're gonna be solid and we're gonna be able to handle things together. So, um, yeah. yeah, what's been what's been obviously for you, you know, being being held up in customs. If you guys haven't seen that, you can watch Morgan's video on it. But uh, what is a silver lining in 2020? Like, what's the one thing that you look back on and, and you're grateful for in 2020? Um, probably just the lessons. <clears throat> Yeah. There's not much positive that's come out of 2020, let's be honest, but the lessons that it's both taught us. And like you said, it solidified our relationship. Like we know what we want going forward and we're going to do whatever we can to get that, which is just a nice thing to talk about it yesterday, like patience, like all of these things that you've had to learn and understand throughout 2020. And that's for everyone is just, I think it's been a good lesson. It's been like a slap, slap on the wrist for everyone realizing that, you know, you can't 
you can't expect things always to work out. You gotta adjust, you gotta learn, you gotta. A slap on the wrist or a punch right to the dick, cause. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> My balls are still hurting. Um, thanks 2020, oh no, I get it. I, I don't wanna, I, you know, I've, I've talked about how bad 2020 has been um, plenty of times. So I'm, I'm trying to carry it only positive, positive vibes into the new year because I really do think it'll be one of the best years in my life for sure. But babe, you, you've oh. had a great, I mean, you've had like business wise, this has been such a, a great year for you, your growth, like you're just, you're yeah. killing it. So like, that's another yeah. silver lining. That's true, there. yeah. Work side of things, it's definitely been good, but it's also been hard growing in work when other people are struggling. Like that's something that, that's, a, that's something that's hard. Like even just family and stuff struggling and not, you know, and I feel like people that work online did pretty well because everyone was at home buying stuff online, doing things online, watching things online. So it was like one half of people that work in media, yeah. social media was doing really well and the other half were just kind of struggling. And that and that'll be interesting to see as we go into 2021. You know, we have government. If that drops or, yeah. Well, yeah, like, is there going to be, because people have been given, you know, government stimulus checks and things like that. Um, you know, is it something that there is going to be kind of like a, a post tidal wave of, of kind of like a, not a housing market crash, but anyhow, it'll be interesting to see what kind of lingering effects that has. But I know, yeah, it's been I'm you know, sure it will. a year, but I, you know, for those of you guys that don't know, I'm trying to get over and see Morgan. Uh, I have a visa. I'm trying to get a travel ban waiver now. And if that happens, I'm just going to spend a couple months over there, uh, getting awesome content in summertime there, hanging out, being uh, just being with my girlfriend again. But we got we got 66 push-ups, but babe, how, how are you feeling about that? I'm feeling good. I, I actually don't remember the last time I did that much push-ups, but I'm ready. Is there ever a time in your life that you maxed out on push-ups? Yeah, when I did the fitness test in high school. And how'd it go? Good. I don't know how many I got, but it was the highest out of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like, you, you don't remember it like it was yesterday? Because it was like two years ago. No, it wasn't. It was like nine years ago. <laughs> Morgan is 24. It was actually like seven. Yeah, it, yeah seven years ago. Almost eight. Oh. All right. Well, like I said, I'm, babe, I'm at 900 and and some so my yeah chest, how are you feeling yeah my my chest and triceps we've been at this now for over eight hours um so oh. I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a lot of it's actually gone by really fast though for the most part just because i've had great people on but have like, you been I, talking yeah my body though is definitely feeling like my anterior delts my triceps my chest everything. you're gonna have to trigger point and use the gun massage yourself later i only had my girlfriend here to give me a massage Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> all right, babe. Okay, you ready for this? Okay. Yeah. Do we just do all of them in a row? Can we have a break? <laughs> babe, if you can do 66 push-ups in a row, I will give you... I will... So, we're donating... I don't know if I told you this. I should have told you this to my girlfriend. I'm going to be donating $2,021 to charity. Um, Aww. And I will donate another $1,000 to the Morgan Maroney charity fund. <laughs> If you can do 66 Of push my choice? Huh? You I'm can. gonna try. Can you do I know, but I'm gonna try anyway. Well, hold on, let me do them with you. I'll go until you fail too. We have to do good push-ups. We just had a tutorial from Tap on good push-ups. So I'm gonna be a stickler here, especially for money. Okay, show me one. So well, back your wrist, it. elbow, shoulders, and as you press down, don't let your elbows flare, flare out too wide. Keep a nice, tight stomach. Obviously, you know all these things. You're a gymnast. You know how to do proper push-ups. Uh, we got contact, obviously, in our hands and in our feet. And from that, you're going to be one, one like a board, just nice and strict. As we press all the way down, going, I would say, you can leave about, you know, a hand, a hand width between you and the ground here. We're not doing hand release push or anything. So nice and low, and then all the way back to the top. Okay. I'm going elbows in, and I'm going to do elbows out, and I'm going to elbows in. Is that all right? That's fine. That's fine. You just got to get okay. it done. Okay. okay. Ready? Hey. I'm, I'm not doing it in time with you because you go too fast. So you go in time with me. Oh. <laughs> that is our relationship. No, Steve, we're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, ready? Uh, on, on you, babe. Okay, three, yeah. two, one. Am I meant to be counting? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey, Jay. Twelve. <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. I'm up to sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. <sighs> one. Two. No worries. I need a bit. <laughs> so where are we stopping? 22? 22. All right. We're 33% of the way there. So okay. take a little break. What are you planning on doing today? Every day, Morgan and I, we FaceTime. So it just feels like I'm on a FaceTime call with her. What are you going to get up to um, today? I think I'm going to try and get Jay to come out for a surf. The surf's actually not looking too bad. It's a little bit small, but it'll hey. be fun. The best, the best part, I was talking on the path. He lives in Perth. And he was mm. telling me about how the other day he was just on a jog and then went for a snorkel and saw this, I was like, you know, 30 feet down, he has flippers, held his breath, equalized, went deeper and was just chilling underneath all of this, I don't know if it was coral or rock. And he's like, but you know, the thing about Western Australia is it's a little sharky. And you're like, <laughs> Just a little. He's like, yeah, for Christmas I got, the thing that goes around your anklet that, that sends out. Yeah, it's meant to deter sharks. Yeah, and I'm like, that is the difference between. Uh, that would be such Australians. a good thing. To so say. Just like, yeah, we're going to put something around my ankle. We're going to go into shark infested water. <laughs> I think around my yeah, ankle. Yeah, it sends out like a sound or something that kind of like scares them away. It, does it scare them that's away? What they use, that's what they use for the buoy, you know, the buoys that sit in the water. Yeah. They have buoys that sit in the water that send out those signals as well instead of uh -huh. netting. Because sharks get through netting anyway. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, well, All right when we let's go. go. To Australia, hey, when we go to Western Australia, um, can you oh, buy we're going to do a van trip there. Okay. I'll buy you one. The shark things. We going again? Yeah. All right, how many are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Babe, I love your booty up in the air. Oh, my God. Gosh. All right, I was gonna say, but you're, anyhow, all right, we'll just go. I know it's bad technique. Let's no, go. I knew you were gonna move it down, so I didn't say it. But I was gonna, I was gonna okay, say, ready? I'm in the air so much you can leave it up, but you can't. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's go. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen. Fifteen. Nice. Three more, and then we're right. Oh, okay, three more. Because we need 22. One, two, three. Oh. That okay, last one was a struggle. 22 and 19? 22 and 18. No, we did 16. 22 and 18, that's... 17, 18, huh? 19. Oh, well, I was meant to do 18. Okay. We'll, we'll because call it. 22 and 18 is 40. All right, we're at 40. We got 26 left. Yeah. So I'm thinking 16 and 10. I like it. What are you, uh, what are you looking forward to most about 2021? Seeing you. <laughs> okay, well. It'll I'll come here. sometime next year. What are you most looking forward to us doing together in 2021? Hey, mate. <laughs> I've been. I am now at. This is he's doing. He's doing for 2021. He's donating. Yeah. Oh yeah, he couldn't hear me. Hey, get Jay to do something. Hey, Moan, how are you, my brother? Good, bro. How are you? I'm. I'm. My, my ass is getting tired. So for the last eight hours, I've been doing push-ups with all the different Gymshark athletes to hit 2,021 push-ups to ring in the new Ooh. year. Yeah, so I'm now oh, at true. about 90. How many did you knock off with her? <laughs> 40. Yeah. I'm at 900. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, Morgan, Morgan is doing the last 66 push-ups, but she she only did 18 last. So do you want to help her out and knock out some push-ups? How many of her do I have to do? Uh, she has, she has, babe, what do you have left? 26? 26. 
right, what seconds. do you what do you suggest, Cookie? Like, like Morgan, Morgan push up one. Well. Why not? Morgan, uh, yeah, any. No, you, you just follow your sister. So, all right. Tell Morgan she has to do them as well. Are you, do you have to do them as well. Oh. Yeah. yeah You're the athlete. Now. <laughs> are we doing a single? Okay, we're doing sixteen, and then we're gonna do ten. Okay. Cool. Sixteen and ten. Ready? All right, ready. It, it's hard with me. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, 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 nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh. 13 keep up with the cookie. Come on! Sixteen. There we go. Hey, finish it off. Sixteen. <sighs> I wanted to join the I'm no shirt. Sure. The cookies paid. <laughs> Come on! There we hey, go. I watched your video. I watched your, I did watch your video, Cookie in the gym, and shirts are stupid. <laughs> Remember? Shirts are dumb. Shirts are dumb. Yeah, shirts many, are dumb. That's the one. Morg did sixteen, but I was I, I had I was keeping up with you because you were pumping yeah. them out, but Morg's yeah. That's not, I did sixteen. I can hear you, and then Morg is. How many did you do? Sixteen. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, you take one you hand. Faster. There you guys go. So yeah, I think I just did mine yeah. a little bit faster. But I wanted to be part of the family. You guys are in swimsuits. Jay has his shirt off, so I'm just gonna <laughs> pretend I'm from Australia. <laughs> so it's like six degrees outside right Mate. now. Yeah, literally. That's oh, pretty close here. Hey, did you check the beach here? Yeah. I'm gonna go look at it. Was, it, was, it was small, but it was clean. Yeah. Oh, okay. But there's a few people out. That's why I thought we'd go out. How, how buoyant is your <coughs> oh, it's not very nice. Nah, it's not that much volume. Oh, I'm going to check the beach out. Anyway. Cookie, have a great New Year's, mate. If I don't wait, wait, we got 10 left to finish it off. You got to finish oh, off our 10. Two. 10. Oh, 10 more windows. I did 40, and, and, then, right, we, yeah. and then we had to do another 26 to finish off. Oh, okay, yeah. We just did 16. We got, we got, we got oh, 10 okay, left. Yeah. All right. All right. Ready? Let's All do right, it. Let's, let's go 10. Here we go. Ready? Okay, start. One. One. Two. One. Two. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Come down and hold it. Ten. Come, no, come, down, here. come on down here. Come on down here. Come on. Come on, come on babe. Just call it. Call it, Nate. Come on, babe. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. Uh, hey, team, team, team Maroney, you guys did pretty good. All right, guys. As you can see, added up the totals here. Uh, 1,011 push-ups, 1,011. So we actually did 2,022 push-ups, but really grateful. I've done this in years past and can definitely say it's nice to have friends who take some of that weight off. So I did 1,000 push-ups today. Chest is definitely tired. Shoulders are tired. Triceps are tired. I'm still gonna go in and do my running for today and maybe some sit-ups, some core, and, and then my running because I still wanna hit my goal of, of that military challenge that I've talked about. But going into 2021, Breaking that pinata, using that negative energy, it's done now. Pushing it out of my mind, it's really ha hard to have a positive life with a negative attitude. And for me, it's been a ch challenging year, just like with so many people out there. Really cool though to hear just, just what, what people are looking forward to and the common theme in this from all of these different people. It's amazing to hear Pap. And, and Ryan talk about it, a physique competitor, and someone like Pat talk about like their own body issues with, with guys out there, it exists. You know, all of these things that, when you start talking to people and you realize, you know, everyone, Hannah talking about the struggles being a mom has brought and balancing that all, everyone feels like they're not doing enough. I think that's the kind of across the board. Everyone feels like, hey, at times I don't feel good enough. That is being human. We don't feel adequate at times and 2020 has really magnified issues in lives. But why not come together? You've seen what happens when you can talk to other people, when you can reach out, when you lean on other people, when you, you know, don't feel like you have to do everything by yourself. And that's really what I'm taking from this and into the new year. The silver lining is that like, hey, there's people out there going through similar things. Lean on those people. So, appreciate you guys watching. Let's start off this year with a bang. Let's start it off with positive, a um, positive mental outlook. Whatever you're going through right now, reach out to a friend, a family member, someone on social media, talk through it, you know, be present. 
in this life, you know, with my grandma being sick and with everything not having Morgan, we take for granted a lot of things. Let's not do that in 2021. Let's not take something for granted out there. So whatever your goal is right now, have that goal. That was another common thing. Everyone on this list has goals and they might be different, but at the end of the day, they are setting these goals to better themselves, to, to create a positive environment for themselves and the people around them. Be that positive force of change. I appreciate you guys watching. Happy 2021. Let's go get it. Let's have a hell of a year. And uh, I'll see you on Monday for the next video.